Hello, I'm Robert Rutledge. I'm a Chartered Accountant and Business Advisor operating here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I have known Derek probably for about 15 years. Uh, he's always been a, a sort of a technical advisor and friend for me. I've been following his, his career and, and I've known about his app for oh, a good six months now. He's got a very good reputation in, in the community and a good technical expert and I'm sure his app will be extremely useful for people to use. We have language apps now. Um, who would have thought that, that online that we would be figuring out a way to rebuild our nations to all the young people that are, that are participating and uh, that are concerned about the state of the nations know that you are the leaders not of tomorrow, not of the future, but of right now. We are on the comeback trail and that means you picking up the culture and the language and the teachings and making sure that you represent. Uh, your people, uh, make them proud, make the ancestors proud. Hi, I'm Eric Michael. I'm 16 years old and I love my iPod. I take it everywhere I go and I also downloaded the Ojibwe app. I'm Ian, I'm Duncan McHugh. I'm a reporter with CBC News, The National, and I firmly believe that we need to start using digital technology to do stuff like preserve our languages. Our youth are always online, they're always on their iPhones, they're always on their iPad, and if we want to preserve our languages, then we've got to start getting into that space and making it our own space. So I'm so pleased to see projects like Goki Learning Systems and the Ojibwe Language app. Keep up the good work, Derek. Notwithstanding what they say, um, that our languages are, are, um, are absolutely uh, in a dire condition, but you, you have it within your grasp to make sure that our culture and our languages will live on strong into the future, that future generations will know that you did your part. Just recently, a Grand Chief from Northern Manitoba told me that the nuns in residential schools used to tell him that they were going to kill his language. He never realized what that meant until 30 years later and he saw that his son couldn't speak Cree. Your dad? Your dad? Your mama? Bezik. Mizen. Listen. Nirin, Nirin, Ha, ha, ha.